Mr. Ajiz. Ajiz the Beagle. <laughs> the one and only Mr. Ajiz. Ajiz, Ajiz, Ajiz. <laughs> Hello, guys. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Don't mind him. He has not allowed me to do introduction. Right. Let's change his ourselves. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Fola Shade Esther. Mm. Sorry, Fola Shade. Me says Fola Shade <laughs> Esther Ajibadel. <laughs> my name is Fola Shade Esther, and if you're joining us, you're welcome. It's all about fun, fun, fun on this channel. So please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. That's the notification button. You know how we do it now. <laughs> okay, so today I have my my darling husband. Uh -huh. My darling husband with me. <laughs> and um we are newlyweds, obviously. They say they say you stay shit. You say are you newlyweds? Yes. <laughs> yes, we're newlyweds. <laughs> and um we had some experience during our wedding ceremony and everything and we felt like we should share our lessons so from the title you can tell that we are here to talk about the do's and don'ts for your wedding yeah so if you're preparing to get married this would be very very useful for you if you know someone that's preparing to get married it's very useful if you if you've gotten married or if you're married <laughs> if you're married you can just um let us know what you think about the points if you have any other points to add feel free to you know put it in the comments section Let's go. all right okay i gave first ladies first please okay so uh, i don't like this one the first one is for me not for anybody <laughs> So the first thing for your wedding would be focus on your spouse. Yeah. I would say focus on your wife. <laughs> <laughs> because guys, at some point, I had to look at my husband and I was like, babe, focus on your wife. Focus on your wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because you can get carried away with seeing family members that you haven't seen in a long time, friends. seeing long time friends. And you forget the main reason why you are there, which is to get married to your, <laughs> uh, to your spouse. You know, so try and as much as possible to focus on your spouse during that ceremony. Because at the end of the day, everyone else will leave. They will celebrate with you, wish you well, and then they will leave. It's you and your spouse that will be yeah. starting your family together. So try as much as possible to focus on your spouse. Even if you have to take some time away from everyone else just two of you together please do that as much as you can yeah all right and next point is um have good counselors yeah good counselors laws <laughs> not just one <laughs> so yeah uh, we noticed we had a good counseling session before the wedding yeah and it was not wedding counseling it was marriage counseling mm. your parents will counsel you yeah your friends will counsel you. Mm. Your counselors, your marriage counselors will counsel okay, so you. In the multitude yeah, of... Yeah, in the multitude of counselors, there's always safety. Yeah. But the next point is to keep your smile always. Like, keep smiling, like guys. That's, that's big. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to do a lot of this. Really yeah. Really. <laughs> Let's mm. Smile, smile, smile. Come mm. <laughs> you will take pictures. When you're tired. <laughs> Give us a smile. Like hundreds of pictures. Cut wedding. Traditional wedding. As in. And, and church wedding. Church and then reception. reception. Mm. Mm. Back to back. As if we you go have to, to be the smiling. So, and for someone like me, that I only smile like <laughs> small and then I'm, I start so laughing. Like, <laughs> you need it. Yeah. Keep your see if you have to start practicing your smile. Just start practicing. First thing in the morning, brush your teeth, go to the mirror. You see? So that you know how you look like you're making memories. At the end of the day, you might even forget the details of the wedding. Yeah, of what but, got you angry yeah, at that moment. Yeah. Yeah. But it's those pictures, those memories that you go back to and you just be like, Oh, I looked so, so good. Nice. I was smiling. smiling. I was happy. Yeah. yeah, so please keep smiling. Yep, yep, yep. All right. 
I like this one. Um, always have a plan B. I think um, there should be a plan C and a plan D and a plan E. Plan Z. You you'd be disappointed. Trust me. Have alternatives for transportation, especially in this Nigeria. Especially when your husband drives away on the day of the track because he doesn't want to be late. When I live in the hotel, have plan B. Well, that yes, what she said, but. Leave the details out. So hmm. yeah. Have another car. Have another. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, always have a plan B for your wedding ceremony. Anything can go south. Anything, anything can go north. Just have a plan B, and you'll be good. Yeah, yeah. I'll just take um, be spontaneous and yeah. be spontaneous and intentional. Very intentional. Yeah. So we planned our wedding dance. We didn't just want to be moving <laughs> left, right left right for the wedding dance i felt it was so cliche and everything so we planned it we had rehearsals we came up with the steps ourselves so it was simple beautiful you see the video when it comes out yeah so have those spontaneous moments and also be intentional yeah and talking about spontaneity and intentionality mm -hmm. I remember she was so overwhelmed, makeup, gilly, this and that, and she shared so many things in her mind. Yeah. And I'm like, she would have forgotten the dance step. So what I did, I just started playing the wedding dance song over and over again in my room. Because 30 minutes I was done having my bath, dressing up and everything, and she was just doing her makeup. On the let us go into the day. It's too hard, too hard. <laughs> but yeah, so I started rehearsing with her in my mind. That way, I cover for not just myself, but also her, and it went well, it went beautifully well. Yeah, just be very intentional and try to cover up for each other's lapses. Yeah. All right, next point is, um, shut yourself from distractions, be open to disappointments, and exercise discipline. Hmm. Distractions will come left and right. I think it's self-explanatory. Um, be open to disappointments. We mentioned that. Yeah. Don't be a brick wall mm. yeah don't mm. be a brick wall be mm -hmm. flexible yeah be very flexible so when disappointment hits you why is it, why it to me you come back on <laughs> hey, that camera camera rolling <laughs> their kids watch it <laughs> so yeah be flexible okay and um be open and then be disciplined be very disciplined okay because anything and anyone can get at you mm. and that's really and that's your day of joy that's your day of happiness that's your day of remembrance look back without regret so don't let anything get to you don't let anything get to you to just shun it out and just be disciplined know what you're doing part time okay um the next one is to hmm, fam have a good mc mcp have a good mc <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> the microphone king. Michael, do it. Hey, hey, how's the good MC? Hey, hey guys. Because, um, yeah. so on our wedding day, rain was falling, things were not going as planned. We used the church as the venue for reception. We already had a plan that, okay, after church service, would all come out, they can Jeez. have time to arrange. But because of the rain, people couldn't come out. They didn't have yeah. time to arrange so everything just became so oh, no. disorganized yeah. in a way and we had to improvise and, we had to improvise. Yeah. and our mc Very delivered, delivered. honestly yeah. yeah. even me in that situation i'm sure i would be so confused i don't even know where to start how to engage people but he just he took charge he made everyone have fun the adults the young people i'm not trying yeah. to advertise he's, <laughs> he's amazing i know it's secure and Instagram, I did, and did you come up here? As in, so see, if you need MC for your wedding, <laughs> pew, pew. just go to the microphone king. He will deliver, yeah, honestly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, for the next point, assign someone for the couple's welfare. Basically, assign someone. Yeah. Like everything that pertains to the couple. Yeah. Because trust me, everyone is all over the place, mm -hmm. thinking for themselves. Mm. Mm -hmm. How can you serve my friends? My friends will not go back hungry. Yeah. They came all the way. They brought mm -hmm. this, they brought that. Yeah. God have mercy on us. But yeah, if you have someone dedicated to the couple's welfare, feeding, accommodation, transportation, mm -hmm. packing of luggages, yeah. yeah, so many things. That's aside the best man and best lady. Yeah. yeah. 
it will go smoothly. You really need that. Trust me, as a couple, just assign someone for your welfare. Yeah. 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 Next point, over to you. <laughs> okay. Um. So the next point, I know he's one that wants to say something, but I'll start so that he will not trick me very well, which is to be time conscious. So, like I said, some people left us and they went to the church. See, guys, can you imagine? How can, how can you leave your wife and go and get married? Why are you getting married? To? I went to prepare the ground. Hmm, deep. 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 So be time conscious. Yeah. My husband is very, very time conscious. And I am. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, <laughs> like, um, hallelujah. Jesus is a wiper. You got it. Ooh. If you don't get it, forget about it. <gasps> <laughs> all right let's go back to the video so yes be time conscious so because i didn't have a lot of experience with nigerian weddings i didn't know how long some of these things used to take like i didn't know that make up alone no even hair no even gilly can take up to two hours why because it's bridal makeup so be very very time because if you have to wake up early like earlier than you even planned but it's better to even wake up early get dressed early and be waiting than for them to start rushing you because of that we couldn't even take as many pictures as we wanted, wanted to because yeah. we were not that time conscious we thought oh two hours we wake up two hours before and then we we'll get dressed we do our makeup we'll to get out we do our makeup one hour we'll get ready yeah we will do she's one doing the makeup oh. Yeah, we don't, we don't no, He's no, our no. <laughs> for two of us. The girl is benefiting. So yes, to so try and be time conscious. Ask your makeup artist side of time. How how much time do you need? Ask how much time do you need for this to get dressed? How much time do you need? Wake up. Wake up very, very early. early. Yes. So oh. what other points do we need to take? Don't try to please everyone, mm. else you end up pleasing no, no one. one. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't try to please everyone yeah, you and focus on your spouse. Mm -hmm. Try to please your spouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then don't assume your best man and best lady no know what to, what do. to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plan and prepare them yeah. ahead of the ceremony. Mm. Like, work with Tell them. them what you Tell need them, what them, you them need to them do to for where you. Where they should be part time. Yeah. Yeah. They don't just assume. Yeah. Uh, mm. Like they know what to do. They know yeah. they're supposed to help me. Yeah, they know this, they're supposed to do this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Tell just them. Tell them what to do. What to do. Yeah. 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 So over to you. Next point. Hmm. All right. So the next point is to surround yourself with good friends. And yeah. Family. And family as well. Yeah. Surround yourself with good friends and family. Because at the end of the day, those are the people that will come through for you. Like mm. good friends will come through. Like. They Trust always me. come. They through. always do. They always do. Financially, physically, wow, emotionally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So physically, they always they are present for you, and emotionally, if you need this, yeah, yeah, especially for the bride. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> they are always there. For yeah, you. and then just nice fun time. Your friends, you can always count on them. Yeah, yeah, and um, financially too. I my friends came true. Our friends came true. Me to my friends came true. Now together. Our, Our friends, friends came, came true. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you so much, so, guys. Thank you, so, for watching. thank you so much. We are really grateful. Thank you. For the elderly ones, the young ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we're really grateful. All friends and family. All family. friends and families that came, that showed up. For showing up. Thank you very much for showing up to our wedding. Thank you. Are you wet, day? <laughs> are you wet, day? In it. <laughs> so this is coded. If you have a clue, Concerning this point, let's know in the comment section. La down there. <laughs> down here, let's know in the comment section. <laughs> Except you are one who loves beating around the bush. <laughs> Observe deforestation ahead of the wedding night. Like bad boy. I won't say that again. Like bad so boy. If... <laughs> like bad boy. You to what? So except your wedding. That is the same. You said that again. Why are you saying it again? Except your wedding. Okay, they say wedding do's and don'ts. Wedding do's and don'ts. Hey, do the do. You want to do the do? do. We are doing okay. That, that, don't do the do in front of the camera. This is wedding do's and don'ts. We remove that part. I'm leaving it. Except your wedding. Scream, scream, scream. We love to beat around the bush. The Lord. Wedding. The ceremony. Go, go, go. It's a wedding night. 
No, they don't say wedding night. Wedding night. They, they, they said, said wedding so days and don't. Observe the forest. Stop, stop, stop <laughs> now. You know, I was busy. I heard of the wedding night. Stop. <laughs> yes, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> All right. Okay, we've the come to the time. final point, which is yeah, the, most the most important. important. Put everything in God's hands. In God's hands. Yeah. Always. At the end of the day, mm. only God. Can can ape <laughs> your destiny. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. So put everything in God's hands because I feel like sometimes when I look back, I don't know about you. Same okay. You don't even know what I want to yeah. say, but it's the same here. Yeah. When we look back, it's faithfulness. Yeah. We just see how God was just helping us all through the events and yeah. things that looked like, oh no, I don't like how this went. I don't like how this went. It's, we just look back and we're like, no, but actually it was good. Yeah. Like it went well. We thank God. So just leave it in God's hands. If it's God that has brought you guys together, definitely yeah, He would it. take care of everything. Yeah, trust in the Lord with all, all your, your heart. heart. And lean talk on, on, talk on. And your own understanding. In all your ways, ways, acknowledge God and He will direct, direct your path. All, all right. right. <laughs> Let's get up. <laughs> okay, we've come to the end of this video. Let me know if you liked it. If you have any more points, we had a lot, but we just felt like this few are shoking. The ones that okay, are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was saying you shook. I don't realize you're about to say <laughs> shoking, <little baby. laughs> right. Yeah, so let us know what you think. If you have any more points to add, yeah. please feel free. I'd like to know what you guys in think as session. well. See, we meet again in my next video. Thanks for joining. See you guys later. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye.